Never have I been. Never have I ever. <laughs> never have I ever seen a team lose six domestic cup finals in a row. Oh wait, that's us. Set a new record. Never have I ever seen kids. Not our kids. Real kids. Become real men in front of our eyes. My fist is hurting because I've been punching a whole heap of things. And I'm just trying to think of words I can use to articulate myself without being demonetized. So bear with me. We've just lost in extra time to a team which most of it played against Stoke City under 21s in the PL2 two weeks ago. McConnell, Clark, Dan the man up front that can. Yeah, and there's a couple of others. But about five, six of them, whatever it is, were playing in the Premier League 2 against fucking Stoke City under 21s a couple of weeks ago. And that's who we've lost to. Because in the last 35 minutes, from 85 minutes onwards, we were playing against kids. Year 11s, our kids versus year 7s. And we just lost. We just lost. So, I always say on this channel, anybody can have their opinion. Anybody can have their opinion, right? Whether I was when I was with Poch and when I'm saying, nah, I've kind of lost it. But when people tell me, you're losing your mind, where's the positivity, you're being too negative. I'm just like, we're 10th. Now, now we've lost the cup final. So I hope to see those, I hope to see those comments. I really hope to see those comments, those level-headed comments that are still very much that so Raven, looking into the future with a vision. When I'm telling you that this team needs balancing, when I'm telling you that this team from a recruitment standpoint is fucking extremely over-egged on youth. Because look at the nerves on that pitch today. Look at the nerves. I could feel the nerves through the screen. The loose touches. The misplaced passes. The overcooked passes. The undercooked passes. The mistakes. The slips. It was a tragedy. An absolute tragedy to behold. Right? Now, we had our chances. And they had their chances. And we hit the post. And they hit the post. And we could have tested Kulaha a hell of a lot more than we did. But we were flirting. And we flirted many times this season. We are the people that they say we are officially bottlers, but we are. Hold me back. Hold me back. We're that friend. Hold me back. Color her versus Chelsea. Hold me back. No, don't, don't, don't throw a punch. Don't, don't throw a jab. No, hold me back. Like you're going to do something. Like you're really going to do something. Do me something then. That's what Color her said. That's what Liverpool said. Do me something then. They're bringing on kids. They're taking off Kanate. They're taking off McAllister. They're taking off Gakpo. They're taking off all of the key individuals that actually make this team above the age of 20. And they are saying, do me something. Fucking do me something. And we did absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, we had a couple of moments here and there, but my God, moments. Are you taking a piss? We should be beating that team in extra time. We should be Beating that team in extra time with all of our money spent, with all of our talent coming on, 100 million pounds worth of winger coming on this pitch in Mudrika Madaweke, and we're not putting that to the sword, putting that team to the to bed. Insanity. And I said in the first half, Diaz, yeah, that's the that was a big problem today down that left hand side. He was cooking. But I said the other big issue is set pieces because I'm watching Van Dyke and I'm looking at Kanate and I'm thinking to myself, who are we going to mark up against with those, with those two? Van Dijk today put in a captain's performance. He put in a leader. The leader of not men, the leader of teenagers, the leader of boys. He put in a captain's performance. That is real leadership. That is a real winner. He held and knitted that team together, unified it and stood tall and absolutely demolished the entire match. And rightly so, ends up as the match winner because that is a real captain. That's a real leader. And that's what we don't have in this team. Bundle of nerves. Cole Palmer stank up the place today. 
Caicedo, lucky not to be booked for that challenge on Gravenberg. We actually injured a player in the game. We made them have to make a substitution in the first half. They're bringing on Bradley, putting him right wing. Elliot coming inside, Gomez coming on. Weakening the team as the game goes on. But that is the difference between having balanced recruitment and fucking extremism. And that is what we have done. And I must say, you can be unlikable. Every big club is. But to be unlikable and to spend a billion and then to be bottle jobs and then to be 10th. Oh, it's all too much. If you're going to be unlikable, you need to fucking win. So you shut people up. You can't be unlikable, spend all that money and then bottle the final. Because it is a bottling. If Liverpool have Salah, if Liverpool have Nunes, if they have Alisson, if they have Trent, if they have Sir do I need to keep going? If they've got their guys, their hitmen, it's not a bottling. It's a close game. We lost to the better team. They're top of the league. We didn't win the combined 11, even though some people feel like I should have got more names in. <laughs> should have got more names in. Should have got more names in. What a humbler crumbler for this whole football club, for this whole fan base. Because when we're doing our combined 11s, we're trying to, we're trying to throw more people in. What? So what now? So when I've said what I've said against Wolves, which is... Directors, manager, like I'm, I've lost it. I've lost the plot and rightly so. People are saying to me a couple of games later, you want to apologise? You want to see the vision now? Calm down. As they say, the famous song, baby, calm down. Why are you losing your heads over a few games? Wait a minute. Let's get to the end of the season before we start reassessing opinions, before we start flip-flopping, flapping. Like I said, anybody can have their opinion, but do not cuss me for mine. I wanted this guy. I wanted to see him flourish, to thrive. But my God, how much more do I need to put up with as an individual? Huh? How much more trauma? How much more heartbreak? How much more do I need to see before I have to say something? It's my own opinion. I feel like I've been pretty patient. I feel like I've been pretty kind with my words. But I have to say it as I see it. I have to be unbiased. I can't be just strong and wrong. I can't just be arrogant about my, my 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 opinion of wanting the manager i have to call it as i see it we have just lost to liverpool in a final we have just lost to kids in the last 35 minutes it's not good enough now to be honest i think the substitutions every single time they were made i thought you know what let's get Ma let's get mudrick on let's get madawake on let's get chalabra on for an extra center back because the set piece i was thinking yeah airily were struggling airily van dyke and canate or whoever's going up there gomez has come on now he's going to be a threat you're looking at potentially that, that Dan the man, that can guy up front. He's qu quite tall. Okay, we get Chalabon. Cool. We get Madaweke on. Cool. We got Nkuku on. Cool. We got... Bro, we bring, him, we bring in on our players. We're bringing on our hitters. We still lost. I don't know what to say. A bag of nerves. A lack of experience. A lack of experience and a bag of nerves. And a team that I've never been here before. I've said it in the watch along. Act like you've been here before. If you sit around a VIP table with a bunch of celebrities, the worst thing you can do is start asking for autographs. The worst thing you can do is start shaking, start quivering. Act like you've been here before. Even though you haven't, even though quite clearly you have not seen that size of pressure, act like you've been here before. Because it's the only way you're going to engage in conversation, establish some chemistry, relax the celebrity. But no, we couldn't do it. We can't fake it. You can't fake it and make it. You must. You must be in touch with reality. That team, for all of its glitz and glamour, for all of its quality attributes, they were not mentally ready. I don't know if it's partly the manager. I mean, you have to say partly the manager because the manager's never won in this country. So he's maybe not mentally ready. He's maybe too excited. His coaching staff potentially going to grab some silverware. Nobody from top to bottom has won enough to actually go and apply it in the, in the real reality, in the moment that counts, and they've got winners, and then they have kids, and they mixed it and matched it, and that's what they got. But we, from top to bottom, nothing. No experience, no know-how. And we showed it in that game. Absolutely embarrassing. Never been more embarrassed than I am right now. Because like I said, you can lose finals, you can be mid-table, but don't do it after spending a billion. If you're going to be mediocre... Spend mediocre money, yeah? Spend, me spend mediocre money. Don't be mediocre and spend a billion. Because it's, 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 I'm tired. You can't talk on excuses today because look how many injuries they had. We have injuries, but let's be very honest. 
I've gone through the names. They had injuries everywhere. It's very similar to the Middlesbrough away defeat. You can't talk on injuries when the other team have just as many, if not more. And you know they had more starters out than us. We had a couple of starters. We didn't want to see Silver start, really, anyway. We had maybe James and Fofana. You could throw in a Lavia if you want, but it's tough to find a, a spot for him right now. But that's about it, guys. They had the whole damn thing gone. The two eights, the winger, the striker, the keeper, the right back. I said we're going to get stronger as the game goes on because the subs that are coming on, they used to play in Stoke City under-21s. Peterborough under-21s. I don't know. But they they got medals around their neck today. I'm watching... I'm watching them. They've got medals. Number 53, number 72. They have Serie A numbers on the back of their shirt and they've got medals around their necks. How the fuck does that happen? How the fuck does that happen? Explain that shit to me. More than embarrassed. Bag of nerves, poor performances in terms of just lack of control, lack of authority on the ball just no composure no cohesion no chemistry people are shouting at each other and cuckoo shouting at this man because he didn't pass to him enzo's doing back hills in the box when he should be squaring it to palmer the amount of times we could have walked that ball in today and the head loss and the lack of composure and so and awareness is just non-existent we got lucky a couple of times on the other side with some saves from petrovic and some post but in terms of our final third play again no control fuck the control today but in terms of the final third, again, people are not picking up their heads. Gallagher had a shot straight at the keeper. There were so many chances, guys. So many chances. Can't blame the ref today. Referee had a great game. He disallowed both goals. And it looks like the Caicedo yellow card on Gravenberg, we didn't get it. So we got away with that. We, bro, we have no complaints. That brother had hair follicles on top of his head. There was no complaints. No complaints. On the referee side of things. But in terms of... So, so there's only reflection on ourselves. There's only looking at ourselves. I'm looking at the missed chances now. No kill instinct. We spoke about not having a striker in January. Well, there you are. Jackson, I give him credit for his performance against Konate and um, Van Dijk. And I give credit to Petrovic in goal. Because again, he's con he, he concedes a goal that he really can do nothing else about. He kept us in it. Everybody else... I'm afraid I'm not interested in analysing too deeply on what you've, did, what you've done. Because you should do better. You should win. Yeah? But Jackson up against two centre-backs, having to link things, having to make those runs. He's, he's up against strong, powerful, tall, experienced centre-backs, world-class centre-backs on his own. And he had to make do with what he could. I thought he tried his very hardest until he came off. We lost that threat when Nkuku was up there. We didn't get that same outlet. And the goalkeeper, there's no blame there on him either. But the shakiness from De Sassi, from Colwell, from Gusto, how many touches went out of play, from Palmer, stinking up the place, Sterling, not good enough, Enzo, Caicedo, not good enough. Just nobody was good enough. Everybody wasn't good enough, I'm afraid. Gallagher, some passes, some crosses, brother, finish, chill well. It's just, there's just nothing more to say. There's nothing more to say, but I am absolutely gobsmacked and embarrassed that I had to sit there and watch our team, in the end, not even pepper that, that goal. We didn't even get to see, really, if Kelleher was a worthy replacement for Alisson. You know why? Because we're too busy flirting. Because we're too busy texting. We're too busy drinking. We ain't say no lines. We ain't approach nobody. We ain't, we ain't do nothing. We just out here standing in the corner of the club looking like a bunch of weirdos. We ain't put no, no actions to nothing. So it's fine. Guys, I'm done. I, I really don't want to say too much because I've said enough, really. I've said enough. But, you know, don't ask me about manager. Don't ask me about directors. Don't ask me about, don't ask me about none of this because I've said it already. And you see me, when I say something once, I ain't going to bang on about it every day. I'm not going to bang on about recruitment and, exp and, and, and balance and not going after 16 year olds. I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about the manager again. I'm, I've, I've said it already. Go scroll down, go check Wolves. I said what I said. And people asking me, oh, what's your opinion now a couple of days later because we got a good result? Hold fucking that. Hold that. Yeah? I reassess at the end of the season. That is an absolute classic plasma L, bruv. And all we've got left is the FA Cup. The one thing we don't have to worry about 
is whether or not we're going to be able to participate in the Conference League with the UEFA rulings and FFP. We don't need to worry about that anymore, so that's good. But, um, yeah, we move. We've got Leeds on Wednesday. We have to win the FA Cup, yada, yada, yada. In a bit, people. Smash up the like, subscribe. Peace. Enough said.